I think it's a pike, but I can't. If tell. that's a pike, that's 40 some inches. Absolutely easy Coming 40 inches. The backside right here. Look oh at that. my god, that thing is freaking huge. Look at that. That's Holy, gorgeous. that is enormous. That's nice. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to NB Edits. Take a look at how beautiful this is. Guys, this is just, this is gorgeous. Nick and I are up here in the beautiful Northwoods of Wisconsin, and we're gonna be doing a little camping slash fishing trip this weekend. Today, we've got our trusty old mystery tackle box with us. Nick and I are going to be hitting the lake right behind me here and we are going to be fishing for some largemouth bass in our kayaks. We got the New Canoe Frontier 12s with us. We've got a few different baits inside of our mystery tackle box. We're each gonna be selecting a couple different baits in here, testing them out to see if we can pull some of these largemouth bass off of their beds. Now, these fish should be in the shallows. We just walked down here. Already seen a couple fish just in probably about a foot of water. Super, super clear water. It's gonna be great for these baits that are inside our box. So we're gonna go ahead, grab the yaks, get loaded up. We're gonna get out there and see if we can chow some fish. Let's do this. So we just got out onto the lake. It is looking absolutely beautiful out here. The water is incredibly clear. There are beds absolutely everywhere, fish everywhere. It's gonna be a fantastic day. So the lures that we're gonna be using today, we're only gonna be selecting two. Brandon's gonna be throwing one, I'm gonna be throwing one. What he's got rigged on is a little jerk bait, a white jerk bait. This thing looks pretty slick. It looks like it's gonna have a good action. We'll have to wait and see how that looks in the water. This is a Pursus 110 by Janko Fishing. This is the box that it was in. Uh, Brandon's gonna be throwing around that. It is kind of pre-spawned. Yes, there are beds, but they're not really on them by the looks of it. So a jerk bait should be awesome in this colder water. And what I'm gonna be throwing is I'm gonna be throwing a size four hook. What was in the box I'm gonna be throwing there's some craws, this is Ozark Core Craws. Five inch battle bug by Big Bite Baits. I'm gonna be rigging that up weightless and tossing that around by some of the beds and seeing if we can get some of those bites. So that's what we're gonna be working with and that's pretty much it. We're out here, like I said, we're gonna be trying to find the fish by their beds and see if we can catch them. So let's get after it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh my God, Brandon literally just hooked up with a giant pike or muskie. We have no idea what it is. It's but it's, a nice it's one. Oh, huge. he's swimming away from me. He's right here, he's right here. Oh my God. My heart's pumping and I'm not even catching it. Do you have a net ready? Yeah. I might I, need you to. I'm a little far away. We gotta set the camera down guys for just a second. Oh my God, that's a nice one bro. Any chance you can hear it? No, he's, coming, he's literally right below me right now. He just inhaled that thing. Okay, we're back. Oh my God. It hit twice too. Oh my God. I think it's a pike, but I can't If tell. that's a pike, that's 40 some inches. Easy. Absolutely easy Coming 40 inches. the backside right here. Look oh at that. my God, that thing is freaking huge. Look at that. That's Holy. Gorgeous. That is enormous. I gotta set this down to net this. There's no way I can not. Oh my God. Oh, I don't like that head shake. Oh God. Mine like, it honestly might be like 45 inches, it looks like. I'm gonna try and bring him around and surface him again right here. Okay, I'll get him right here if he comes up. This is a tank, bro. This is a tank. Look at that, that is just gorgeous. Oh my God. Stay there, don't lose the camera. Don't lose the camera, I got him still. Oh my God, guys, like I said, we just got out here and I just landed most certainly my PB Pike. This is what it's all about, guys. That is a freaking giant. Look at the head on that thing. Caught it on that mystery tackle box jerk bait. That is so exciting. This thing definitely just spawned out. And another cool thing is, look at the gouge it has in its back. That's from another giant pike. There are some monsters in here. This one just spawned out. 
but that is a freaking behemoth size northern. I have a tooth in my finger and it's not looking good right now. I'm gonna take oh this god. down. Look at the freaking head on that thing. Oh my god, bro. We, that was a little crazy. Like we couldn't I couldn't record because this no. this is something that doesn't happen every day. No, we don't have a musky net with us right now. No, we just all have I have is this. It. I couldn't get it in here. As you can tell, I'm bleeding. I had I had to stick my hand in the gill that to get it in, but is an absolute giant pike we're gonna try and get a measurement on it maybe even get a weight on it this thing is huge bro and then we're gonna get her back into the water here that is a giant pike all right right get there a measurement that's at the tip oh my god this thing's huge what do we got 40 all day we got 42 and a half, and a half inches almost 43 42 and a half 42 and a half inches holy cow that is a giant bro Oh my God, that's huge. Oh my God. For Northern Wisconsin, that is a freaking tank. That is a giant, that, bro. That's actually a fish of a lifetime. Right there. That's, like, that's there's a, a lot of life. guys that chase 40 inch mus or 40 inch pike. It's hard to hit the 40 mark here in Wisco. I mean, it certainly can be done, but 42 and a half, that's definitely a PB for Brando. That is a beautiful pike. And the fact that he came up and just ripped that jerk bait. I mean, he smoked that thing. And I caught him right in the side of the mouth. Oh man, I missed him the first time. He came up and just nibbled at it. And the second time I ripped it violently right through him and he just came up and clobbered it, man. Really wish I would have had the GoPro running, but we, like I said, we just got out here. I mean, we've maybe been on the water for five minutes. My, my heart is racing right now. That, that's what it's all about, baby. We've been trying to get this fish to go back for a while. I was thinking about getting a replica of this fish because a fish of this caliber deserves to be on a wall, especially in northern Wisconsin, but this one does not seem like she's going to go. So I think we're going to end up taking this fish home. I mean, look at the length on this thing. That is nuts. She just spawned. She is all... I mean, she is bloody from all the way down, fins to tail. This is a very, very cool fish. So I think I'm going to go ahead and actually get this fish mounted. Nick and I want to get back out here. Oh, we just started fishing. We've got so much more to do. Um, we've got a few videos that we want to get done. Uh, we want to wrap up this one. So we're going to go ahead and get this fish on some ice as fast as we possibly can. But man what a catch that is just an absolute giant look at the head on that thing that is just out of this world beautiful fish so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna run into town as fast as possible get this fish on some ice that is an awesome way to start the day guys 42 and a half inch northern pike out of northern wisconsin out of a lake that we didn't even know had pike and it's 20 acres and it's 20 acres this lake is tiny tiny we've got a one tiny little campsite on one tiny little lake doing some bass fishing this one came up and smoked that jerk bait that is absolutely awesome so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get out of here we're gonna get this fish on ice and we are going to resume fishing so we will be back in just a little bit Okay, so just made it back to the campsite. Let's go ahead and show you guys what we're working with here. Usually I would like to just head straight home and find a freezer <laughs> or find a taxidermist. But instead, what we've got going on here, Nick can get it. It's in there. It looks like we're carrying a small body. It's kind of like we are, except for this is a northern Ooh, pike. We're losing some ice. Losing some ice. The northern's in the bag. Before we put the northern in the bag, we wrapped it multiple times with some saran wrap. Got it right over there. Oh, yeah. And we power move. We drove to the nearest gas station, which is about 20 minutes away or so. And uh, we did that. Then we put it in the bag. Then we bought 20 pounds of ice, put the ice in the bag. Then sealed up the bag it's with duct tape duct tape so you know it, you could say that it looks pretty ugly because it does but 
it's the best we could do we're literally up here in the middle of absolute nowhere we had one gas station if we wanted to go into town that's going to be another 30 40 minutes into town so didn't want to do that we got a lot of filming to get done today and uh when you're catching fish like this you don't want to be doing all that you want to like be out fishing so that's the best we came up with uh until we can get it to a taxidermy so well yeah that's we thought we'd show you guys kind of what we did for the little past hour or so and uh i'm excited <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna attempt to go back out and actually see if we can catch some bass we've got a lot of fishing left to do guys so let's get to it there we go there we go baby Come on, baby. No, 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 no. Oh, yep. Ooh, a little chunky. Come here, buddy. That one came up and smacked it. It's been a little bit. These fish are super skittish right now. Still using that white jerk bait. That one came up and slapped it. All right, guys. Well, you have not seen us in a hot minute. We have been grinding. We've been trying to catch more fish. And honestly, I've never once in my entire life seen a day like today. Uh, we are attempting to bass fish and doesn't matter where we go, the bass want nothing to do with us. Luckily, this morning, as soon as we started fishing, I got into that giant pike. And then uh, shortly afterwards, I got into that one bass, which was pretty awesome. Um, and since then, we have not been able to get into the bass, which is crazy because they're so skittish right now because it's pre-spawn. But uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change things up. Obviously, it's nighttime now. Um, we've been out here grinding this evening, uh, but now that it's nighttime, we're gonna get out. We're gonna attempt doing a little walleye fishing. So we are going to take that jerk bait that I caught the pike on and the one that I caught the bass on, and we're gonna see if we can get hooked up with some walleyes here tonight. Uh, because I believe it should work. We've used jerk baits in the past, obviously, for catching walleyes. I don't foresee any reason why it shouldn't work. So we're going to go ahead, get the yak loaded up. I've got the yak right over here. We actually got both seats on it and everything. Check that out. Pretty neat setup. So that's going to be that's going to be the juice tonight. We're going to get out there, see if we can get hooked up on some walleyes, and maybe make some magic happen. Hooked. Oh, up. that did not take long at all. Feels like a pretty nice fish, whatever it is. I'm assuming it's a walleye. I'm hoping it's a walleye. Yeah, it's a nice walleye. Oh, Jesus, he's right there. I didn't even notice. I'm probably blinding you at this You point. are. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes. Oh, my God. Woo. Okay. Oh, I was blinded there for a second. It's okay. We need to have a light to to be able to see here. That's All right. Nice. Couldn't get the bass to go oh, much. Could not get the bass, but did Brandon did catch a bass on this bait. He caught a 42 and a half inch northern on this bait. I just caught a walleye on this bait. So what I've come to conclusion is that bait really works. <laughs> I'll show you guys this walleye real quick. Just a nice, healthy northern Wisconsin walleye. He wanted the jerk bait just as much as all the other species today. But uh, yeah, this this video is pretty much all over the place, guys. Uh, it turned into a multi-species type day, but we came here to prove that you can get stuff in your mystery tackle box that is going to catch you fish. Now we got that jerk bait out of a bass box. Obviously, it caught a lot more than just bass. So that's another nice thing about Mr. Tackle Box is it's just gonna flat out put you on fish. I'm not gonna spend too much time with this fish. It's probably in the slot, not keeping any anyway. So I am gonna get a release on it, but very nice fish and wanted the jerk bait. So that is awesome. We have finally made it back to the landing. Today has just been the biggest grind ever. We've filmed multiple videos for the channel and this one's been pretty much an all day thing. Uh, I'm not going to explain pretty much what's happened because we've already already said it a million times But we caught some nice fish today. I mean we did a multi-species challenge I thought we were just gonna go out onto the lake and we were just gonna destroy bass and get like 50 of them wasn't the case, but again, mystery tackle box really proved that you know 
We can catch anything on their baits. That's the nice thing about it. Just because you're getting a bass box or a walleye box or a panfish box doesn't mean you're just going to catch those species. You know, Brandon caught his personal best pike. That is his third species now that has been caught on a mystery tackle box. That is his personal best. He's caught a crappie, a pike, and a bass. All probably will be very hard to beat in his lifetime, all on Mystery Tackle Box. If that's not enough to get you a subscription in a Mystery Tackle Box, then I, I don't know what you guys are doing. I would definitely do it. So, if you guys haven't already checked out Mystery Tackle Box, make sure you do. We will leave a link in the top of the description. Also, if you use the code NBEDITS, you'll get $5 off your first box. So. I would definitely highly suggest doing that and at least giving it a shot. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. That really shows us that you enjoyed today's video and that you guys are enjoying the content that we're bringing you. It was a grind, but it was a lot of fun. So we're going to get some sleep because I am absolutely exhausted. So we will see you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NB Edits. <laughs>